Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m multiplied by m multiplied by m plus m times of m is equal to 810 and we solve this problem for the values of m. Uh, so at the end of this problem I can give you an assignment problem. Uh, so first you can understand the solution of this problem uh, and at the last uh, you can solve the assignment problem and you give uh, and you can send the assignment solution uh, or the answer of assignment question into the comment section and i hope so you understand this method uh, so thank you so much for watching this video so now here the very first step we are going to do is first you see here m is multiplied by three times we write it as m cubed and here m is multiplied by 2 times we write it as m squared equals to 810 and now we focus on 810 and we break this 810 in the form of cube and square so first we take 810 and we write 810 as 81 multiplied by 10 and now uh, we know about that 81 is equals to 9 square multiplied by we write 10 as 9 plus 1 and now further in the next step when we multiply 9 square on both of these values it will be written as 9 square times of 9 becomes 9 cubed and 9 square times of 1 equals to 9 square so 810 is equals to 9 cubed plus 9 square so now we replace this value here so this equation is implies that uh, m cubed plus m square is equal to we replace 810 equals to 9 cubed plus 9 square and now further in the next step we move uh, these two values from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as m cubed plus m square and this will becomes minus 9 cubed minus 9 squared and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we uh, make the pair of cubic term with cubic term so we have m cubed minus the second cubic term is 9 cubed and similarly uh, we have m squared minus 9 squared and this whole equation equals to 0 so now in the first term we can apply here the cubic formula you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and here in the second term we apply here this formula a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here in the first term uh, we apply here cubic formula and after applying the cubic formula it will be written as uh, m minus 9 times of uh, m square plus m into 9 plus 9 square and plus this is m square minus 9 square we apply here this formula and after that you have m minus 9 times of uh, m plus 9 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here further we need more simplifications and uh, here you can take common m minus 9 and when we take common m minus 9 we get the remaining values are here you get uh, m square plus 9m plus 9 square equals to 81 and when we take common this m minus 9 here uh, we get uh, m plus 9 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write m minus 9 equals to 0. And the second case is we can simplify first this term and we write equals to 0. So here we add or subtract the like terms. We have 9m plus m is equals to 10m. 81 plus 9 equals to 90. And this whole equation equals to 0. So uh, from first case we easily get the value of m is equal to 9 so this is the our first real solution of the given equation and now here in order to find the other solutions we need to solve this quadratic equation. 
So for solve this problem, we first write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b is equals to 10 and c is equals to 90. And we state the quadratic formula as m equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. This is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a, b and c here and we get the other values of m. So we have m is equals to this is minus b the value of b is 10 when we put it here it will becomes minus 10 plus minus square root of b square b is 10 square minus 4 times of a is 1 c is 90 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1. And here we need more simplifications and it will be written as m equals to minus 10 plus minus square root of 10 square 10 square equals to 100 minus 4 times of 90 equals to 2 uh, sorry 360 okay so 4 zero is a 0 and 4 nine is a 36 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. And now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m is equals to minus 10 plus minus uh, square root of 100 minus 360 equals to minus 260 and it is divided by 2. So in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications and it will be written as m is equals to minus 10 plus minus here we break this value as uh, this is 260 we write 260 as 65 times of 4 we know that 65 times of 4 <coughs> becomes 260 and we apply the square root on negative term and it is divided by 2 and here we have uh, more simplifications and it will be written as uh, m is equals to minus 10 plus minus here we know that a square root of 4 equals to 2 into square root of 65 and we know that square root of minus 1 equals iota and it is divided by 2. So here uh, we break this fraction and it will be written as m is equals to minus 10 over 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 65 into iota divided by 2. So you see here this is 2 5 is a 10. We get our m is equals to minus 5 plus minus. This 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get square root of 65 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. And we have final three roots of the given equation are these are the two complex roots and m is equals to 9 one real root of the given equation so this is the final answer of this problem and now here at the end uh, i i will give you an assignment problem uh, so i hope so you first understand uh, the above method or above solution of the question and at the end you can apply the above method on this assignment question so our assignment question is that you can solve the problem for the values of x if you have x multiplied by x minus x multiplied by x multiplied by x is equals to 810. So you solve this assignment problem for the values of x. And I hope so you solve this problem and you can send the solution or answer of this problem into the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos